Welcome back everyone. We've made it to the end of the semester and after a unit of being told to take our vitamins and eat our vegetables that we have to spend more money than we've budgeted for, that we're not earning as much money as we think we are, we finally made it to that light at the end of the tunnel and now we get to reap the rewards of all our hard work and talk about rest and relaxation in retirement. So in today's lecture we're going to talk about how these different types of retirement contributions can pay off. We're going to talk about different types of retirement accounts, how our employer will help us save in these accounts, and we're going to plan for retirement. And in this retirement planning, we're going to take some of those financial instruments we've been talking about, stocks and bonds and savings account, and we're going to improve upon them with different types of funds. Mutual funds, which can be active or indexed, and then exchange traded funds, which we'll punt on a little bit at the end of the lecture. So we've spent a little bit of time talking about stocks and bonds and how they have this risk return trade-off. To make money in such a fashion takes a lot of work. We see high transaction costs between search and information and also brokerage. In short, making money off these investments takes work and takes time. And as we all remember, there's time value to our money and there's money value to our time. But we want to know, is there some way to improve upon this equilibrium? Can we get a better return than bonds offer with less risk and less work than stocks take? So take a minute and think about how we can improve upon this. But the answer is, yes, we can. And the way in which we do this is something called a mutual fund. And what a mutual fund is, is an investment vehicle that basically places you in a purchasing group. And by pooling your money together with other investors, you're able to purchase greater shares of things, both in terms of breadth, but also depth. So on my own, I can't afford that much of Google stock, but with thousands of other investors, we can buy a significant portion of Google stock and also pair that with investments in gold and investments in Apple and investments in General Electric. And together, we start to create a portfolio that will help diversify our assets. Now, this is just a definition. But what I want you to do now is put that at the back of your mind and shift focus to what this lecture is really on, which is retirement. So when we think about retirement, we think about paycheck benefits and retirement is a major paycheck benefit, not just because we might have an employer match or an employer contribution, but because retirement deductions from our paycheck is tax deductible. So assuming we have an effective tax rate of 20%, if our paycheck is $100, 20 of that goes to taxes. But suppose we put all that $100 of our paycheck, and this is an extreme and trivial example, suppose we put all that $100 of our paycheck towards retirement, which is tax deductible, then essentially we're earning $20 back because it's not going to taxes. And on top of that, we have this added benefit where that money we put towards retirement is going to compound on itself and we're going to earn a lot more from it. Remember, this unit has been like taking our vitamins and being told to eat our vegetables, but this is the reward at the end of it. We get tax benefits by saving for retirement. We also get financial benefits by saving for retirement. So take a minute and think about, are there any other benefits we get when we save for retirement? And with that, we'll end this video and regroup in the next one with the answer.